we at Infrastructure Ontario are very proud to be a part of bringing this history back to the surface. As a first step in commemorating the site's rich history, I.O. contracted local arts groups Patch and Steps to develop a unique public-facing art installation for the construction hoarding. They brought the Ward Museum on board who sought out and collected stories from individuals and families who are descendants of the ward. I love the fact that community came together to work with the academics and work with the researchers who are experts in archaeology to try to weave together this incredible story. I want to thank Infrastructure Ontario because you don't have to do it. I know you want to do it. Uh, we cannot ever forget the fact that there is this rich language of history and culture that needs to be preserved. And much of it is difficult to, to understand because we weren't here. And what we have left behind are little artifacts that would have told a lifestyle and a, and a struggle of people that came before us. We're honoring the heritage and legacy of its site by incorporating elements of Toronto's past to the new courthouse and its construction. The hoarding itself, I think, is going to be an awesome way to begin to remind people of what lies behind and beneath and under. To remember that our history, that our story, isn't just reflected by what you can see. It's reflected by what is not seen. And it will be fascinating to see the interpretations that are going to be provided to help us know this story even better. Over the next few years, Infrastructure Ontario will be working closely with the Ministry of the Attorney General to design and build the new courthouse on the site. The Picture in the Ward art installation will help ensure we honour the unique history of the site in a visually appealing way through the construction period.